it's day 10, time to introduce the computer to a little bit of math so that all the complex calculations in the world can be worked out by this super quick brain that can do math faster than we can think. So far, we've introduced the computer to the concept of numbers, and we've got two kinds, floats, which have a decimal, and integers, which are whole numbers. All of the math we'll be looking at today is very, very straightforward, but can be applied to both sets of numbers. Now, in a computer, we can set a variable to the result of a mathematical function. This is a very, very simple way of doing math and printing out the answer. The mathematical symbols that we use are the standards of addition and subtraction, as well as multiplication and division, represented by the asterisk and the forward slash symbol, as well as two interesting concepts, modulo or modulus, which is the remainder of a division, the divisor, which is whole number division. All of that stuff is really useful and it's stuff that we can use over and over again and we can combine with brackets to do amazing things. In terms of all the math you could encounter, here's a basic rundown of the usual suspects. Adding, just using the plus symbol. Subtraction, the minus symbol. Multiplication, uses an asterisk. Division, uses the forward slash. To raise something to the power of another number, we're going to use two asterisks. We're going to use two asterisks. Modulo is the percentage symbol, which again gives us the remainder of the division. And divisor gives us whole number division and is accessed through two forward slashes. Pause the video, copy that out, mess with the numbers and see what happens. See how they're working things out. If you want a challenge, once again, I've broken some code and put it there for you to please help me fix it. We're going to start by building a very simple program to break the bill up between you and your friends when you've gone out for lunch. Our first job is asking the user what the bill amount was, and we're going to store that as a float in a variable because it probably will have a decimal. Our next job is to ask for how many people they were in the party. I've stored that as an int because the number of people is likely to be a whole number. It's very irregular that 0.3 of a person comes for lunch and the other 0.7 stays at home. Now to work out what contribution each person would make if they go Dutch and split the bill, we just need to divide the bill by the amount of people. So our answer is going to be equal to the bill divided by the number of people. I'm going to print that out. I've concatenated that answer together with a bit of a sentence to make it make sense when we run it. Let's assume that we had a bit of a party and spent $80 on food between four of us. That's some math we can probably do in our heads. Well, we owe $20 a piece. Let's try it with a bit more of a complex sum. Let's say we spent $120.32 and we're splitting it between seven of us. Well, ah, whoa. Okay, first of all, thank you math, but I don't happen to have 18.8571428571437 cents on me today. How do we normally deal with that in real life? Well, we round up. So a sneaky extra skill is the round function. What we can do is we can take our answer and make it equal to the rounded version of the answer. Round has two arguments. The first one is what am I rounding? The second one is how many decimal places? And I'm gonna pick two. And this will properly round up, round down. Well, that's a lot nicer and gets the answer a lot quicker. Hold on, David, were you raised in a barn? We have to tip. Well, in fact, that's what your challenge is going to be. You're going to attempt to build something that calculates a tip based on a series of different percentages. You're gonna write a program that asks the user for the total bill. You're also gonna ask them for the percentage of the tip you want to get. Five, 10, 15%, it's up to you, let them type it in. You're then going to multiply those two values together to work out what the tip amount would be. You're going to add that value to the original amount so you've got a total for the bill. You're then gonna ask for how many people you want to split the bill between, work out the division, and output the answer on the screen. Don't forget to share your code. We'd love to see what you've done. Remember the hashtag replit 100 days of code to make sure your code is seen by as many cool people as possible. Come back tomorrow where you're going to calculate how many seconds are in a year just by the power of the computer alone.